I'm Caroline Blight. I'm a Senior Medical Education Officer. Um, our team is responsible for looking after the educational needs of our junior doctors. I'm Scott Sterling. I'm the uh, Acting Deputy Director. Um, I'm a Change Champion for Digital Hospital. I'm a Face Sums Zone Emergency Staff Specialist. My name's Dan Weston. I'm one of the consultants at Logan Emergency. I'm also a subject matter expert with the First Net Working Group for the rollout of the Digital Hospital in uh, Logan Hospital and Bow Desert. This is going to be a huge boost to patient safety. The system is also capable of producing a huge amount of data which we can in turn use when we're planning educational sessions for the junior doctors, especially with regards to medication safety and medication prescribing. It will help improve the quality of care and this is what sort of most um, industrialized nations have is an EMR, so I'm glad that we're doing the same thing. I used to work in the States and we've used this used an EMR and CERN was actually from the US for a long time so I'm excited to see sort of those changes. The speed of, of the patient through the, the emergency network uh, will increase, the, the lag of the unnecessary documentation uh, will reduce and um, one particular thing I'm looking forward to is the implementation of the clinical decision support which the IMR will give us. It will flag uh, important alerts, uh, especially when it comes to allergies, uh, the fact that it guides us with certain medications uh, and also to unclutter or decomplicate complicated procedures and uh, systems will be quite exciting. I think it's a one big thing, at least on the paper chart I've seen here, there's paper flying everywhere, you can't follow vital signs, you can't follow results. Um, and so that will help us get the vitals and the nursing documentation, which I can review at the bedside, which is a huge thing in improving the quality of care. Um, and also being able to look at like past, past medical records will help. And then the integration of the radiology results and the pathology results ultimately will save time. Another advantage of the digital system is that medical staff will be able to access their patient charts across sites. This will enable them to obtain all the relevant information that they require to look after the patient appropriately. There's always some hesitancy when, in regards to change, but as the uh, doctors are getting involved, there has been quite a lot of excitement. I think to be nervous is good, and that you'll be more conscientious of what's going on in your ordering, and it'll motivate you to provide better care and to work harder at it. If you're not nervous, that's probably not normal. The training time has got a very strict deadline. Obviously, go live is in the end of November. It's imperative that you get your training done before go live. Ideally, there should be a couple of weeks leeway. If you have any problems or issues or even refreshes, even if you've passed your proficiencies, to uh, head on down to the doctor's common room. This is one of the spaces we have available for medical officers to complete their training and to practice their skills before we go live. Our team will be available when we go live. In the event any doctors need help with the system, they will just be able to phone us. We can either help them over the phone or we can also go and see them on the wards if they'd like us to be with them at the computers. Plus there's what's called quick reference guides, which if there's any concerns, you can often just jump on and find uh, the issue that you need sorting out. I think that ultimately this will be a really big positive for the hospital in providing better care. Yeah, and I think that's what the ultimate goal people should realize. And this is coming from someone who's worked in, in a system like that. Um, so uh, trust me, it will make things a lot better. Mm -hmm.